welcome to my channel click and design let's get started so today we will be going to create electrical systems for that we will create a new project let's go to new project and choose a system template browse and select system default metric template open okay and then create a new project so your template is being loaded okay so here is the template next thing we have to insert the Revit file for that we'll go to insert then link Revit okay I have this architect file over here and positioning I will choose auto origin to origin then open so the Revit file is being linked to this system default metric template okay so now we'll see how to create electrical systems like lightning systems power system etc okay so for that let's start with the project browser and here you can see electrical discipline and we have two dust and we have two sub disciplines lightning and power so for the lightning we will go to the ceiling plan let's say first electrical ceiling plan okay now we here can see the ceiling okay before that let's go to the west elevation okay so here we see we have this west elevation and we can see this level 2 it is from the metric template and the second floor it is from the architect file so now i will align these two levels to each other okay and the base level will be the second floor okay i will select it and what i have to do is to coincident list level 2 from the template file to the second floor okay so i will select now level 2 so these two levels you can see they have been coincident now and you can log them okay, okay. so now we have to create a ceiling okay a fall ceiling for the reference purpose only because uh, we'll be applying the lightning fixtures and for that we need a fall ceiling so we'll create a reference plane okay and uh, on that reference plane we will be applying this fixtures okay for that let's go to architecture and here you can see reference plane so first of all i will make a reference plane let's say Roughly, I'm sketching it now. Okay. Then I will select this reference plane, and now you can see the values from the level one to this plane. Okay. So I can modify it. Let's say 3000. So here we have this reference plane. Okay. So on this reference plane, we need to create a work plane also. Okay. So let I name it. So I will click this plane and will name it like lightning okay so here we have our reference plane as lighting and now I will go to this working plane to attach our lightning fixtures for that I will go to the ceiling and ceiling electrical so right now I will be attaching some lightning fixtures on the ceiling okay for that i will go to systems then i see here electrical okay in the last you can see lightning fixtures okay so we have a list of different sizes or you can load some family if you want some different lightning fixture let's say i will choose first this 600 into 600 okay this lightning fixture and will attach on the working plane okay for that i will select this place on work plane okay so it will automatically be aligned to the working plane so let's start with this room over here and let's fix some fixtures in this room okay so see i have attached some lightning fixtures in this room okay let's draw a section here i have this section and let's go to the view okay so you can see these fixtures over here this lightning fixtures one and two 
they are attached to the level or to the plane which I created before called lightning okay so let's go back to our ceiling view if you want to create a system out of this lighting fixtures just select any of the fixture here then go to power okay so now we are going to create a power system so next you have to go to this edit circuit and then we'll add the remaining fixtures to the circuit okay so I have edited them and then next I will finish editing circuit okay so let's see I will select a fixture and will press tab so here is my circuit okay so let's do it again I will select a fixture and then press tab it will select all the circuit so you can see this circuit has been selected and after selecting the circuit I see these two symbols okay so these are basically the type of wiring Revit is asking me for the wiring which wiring you want so I have arc wiring and I have chamfer wiring so let's choose for arc wiring okay I have selected arc wiring now you can see here we have wiring between these fixtures let's make the view refined and shade it so now you can see we have wiring between the fixtures this was about creating a power system to to view this system you can go to view okay then user interface here you will see system browser select it go to electrical and you will see a power system has been created in our system browser okay so here is our system and here are the four fixtures which we added okay now let's add a switch to this system for that I will go to systems then we'll go to electrical here I have device and lighting okay now I will introduce a switch to this lightning fixtures okay now I need to place this switch on the vertical face on a wall okay so here I have wall and I will just place it okay you can also mention the elevation if you have different elevation okay so I have applied this switch over here you can see this switch okay so now let's create another system with the help of this switch and let's connect this switch to this already made system okay for that I will again choose a lightning fixture okay and then we'll choose switch from the tab electrical circuits so here I have selected the switch and now we'll go to edit switch system okay now I have to add all the fixtures over here so fixtures I have added and then select the switch so I will select the switch here is the switch and then finish editing system okay so see one more system has been created with the help of switch for that I will go to switch will press tab key you can see a system has been created so this is how we create electrical systems in Revit MEP so it was a small example let's make it more bigger let's add some more features to this project okay so let I delete this system so our system has been deleted so let's say this is our project and now we need to create electrical system in this project ceiling okay so first of all let's get started putting all the fixtures in the ceiling on the wall on the floors if required okay now I will select the fixtures I will go to systems then electrical then I will select some lightning fixtures first of all okay so let's say I have this plain lighting fixture and we'll select the work plane to attach them okay so here I have light one
so see i have attached all the lighting fixtures in all the rooms okay to make it look like a real project for that i'll go to mechanical equipment okay and then i will see i have some equipments over here let's see this vav over here let's check it elevation let let it be 3400 okay and here i put this okay so right now i cannot view this equipment because of the view settings for that i will go to visibility in the properties edit and then we'll select all and we'll check all the entities then make it apply okay so here i can see my mechanical equipment so i will be copying some equipments across this ceiling so let's copy it further here i copy them let it be here somewhere and okay here okay i think it's enough okay we are assuming this all the mechanical equipment inside the ceilings so now i need to include an electrical equipment for that i'll go to electrical then electrical equipment here i will add electrical panel for that i will choose let's say 250 ampere electrical panel and the elevation you can mention accordingly okay so let i place it somewhere here maybe or maybe here so let i place it over here on this wall okay so here i have this electrical panel okay so we have lighting fixtures we have electrical panels we have mechanical equipment okay so now we need to convert this all so now we will add all these fixtures all these equipments into one system so now we will be adding all this equipments fixtures into a system okay now, with the help of cable tray and conduits create a system okay let's start the system okay so first of all we will start from this panel electrical panel okay for this i will create a section about this panel okay you can see this view i will go to view and now here i have my electrical panel let's refine the view and shade it here is the electrical panel so now let's go back to the power view okay here we have the power view and now we'll be creating the cable trays for that i will go to electrical and we'll choose cable tray we have different types of cable tray in revit mpt here you can see the leather types solid okay wire mesh types let's choose channel cable tray okay so here we have the cable tray and accordingly you can define the width and the height of the cable tray and the elevation let the elevation will be 3 4 0 0 okay so let's start this cable tray from here will distribute electricity throughout this ceiling okay so here we have this cable tray okay let's make the view fine and shade it okay and now i need some more cable trays for that i will again go to electrical cable tray and we'll create a branch so here i'm creating a branch accordingly one more branch i need electrical cable tray and here is one more branch so you can see how easily we can create a cable tray and this cable tray it is automatically taking this cable tray fittings okay as per the size of the cable tray okay 
so this is our main cable tray now we need to draw some branch cable tray for that i will again use this electrical command then we'll go to cable tray and i will prefer now a small cable tray of width let's say 200 okay and we'll make some branches let's say here and branch and some more branches I need and a branch let's say over here and one more I need let's say this one okay rest we can delete so here we have made some branches let's make some more branches faster So you can see we have created all the branches so now I will go to this section go to view and see here is my cable tray I need to make it attached to my panel so let's draw it further draw cable tray okay and now let's align it or you can just shift so now you can see I have aligned this cable tray with this panel okay let's make it more further till this panel okay let's go to now power view so after creating this network of cable trays we will now model electrical conduits which will carry the electricity from the panel to this electrical fixtures or equipments okay one thing more let's open this mechanical equipments we cannot see them in this view so we will go to visibility graphics again and here we will check this mechanical equipments to see them better okay apply so here we see some mechanical equipments which we added before first of all we will start from the panel to make electrical conduits let's sketch them okay in the electrical I have electrical conduit okay now again rivet is asking to specify the diameter of the conduit and the elevation let the diameter of the conduit be 63 okay and the elevation will be matching this cable tray okay same which we have with the cable tray okay here we have electrical conduit here we have our cable tray so see here the elevation we have 3400 for the cable tray and for the conduit we also need the same elevation so that both can run together at same elevation so here we have our electrical conduit okay now let's make it shift to the cable tray I think it will be better to change the type of the cable trays uh, let's select all the cable trays in this view go to filter and let's choose all the cable trays and change type okay from here I can choose leather type 
so see why I'm choosing the ladder type cable tray because uh, ladder type cable tray they will be open and we can easily see the electrical conduits going through them okay to learn better and efficient so now see we have this cable trays opened and now let's create some electrical conduits going from the panel to the electrical fixtures now we will create conduits about this cable trace for that I will go to system then electrical tab conduit here I will choose the diameter let it be 35 and elevation let it be 3400 okay let's start making conduits I will start from here here I go I will take a turn and first of all we'll supply to this lighting fixture over here so we have made one conduit let's shift it little above now let's make one more conduit electrical conduit and along with this first conduit I will draw the second one here and then all above I will draw it with this electrical fixture now adjust this conduit towards the left so we can have more space for the other conduits so see these conduits have reached to the electrical fixtures okay so let's make some more conduits system electrical conduit and again let's make one more let's make one more conduit over here and it will go so I have sketched one more conduit make it balanced in the center so we have this conduit in in the center okay okay so now here we can see this cable tray it is small for all the conduits to fit together so we need to change the size of this cable tray so let's select them this cable tray I need the size to be little more we'll go to filter and we'll check only the cable trays okay and we'll change the size and we'll change the size to be let's say 450 so you can see now we have little more space than before and a big cable tray let's shift these conduits little above to save the space okay I think this is more better than before now we have more space So now I have placed all the conduits in the cable tray. Now I need to place some junction boxes for the conduits. Now with the help of conduits we will connect all these fixtures. Let's start. Let's go to electrical conduit. Let's create a conduit over here. One. 
and second over here so we will create now some junction boxes with the help of conduit so okay here we have the branch let's create conduit over here and let's merge it to this conduit so you can see here we have one junction box over here okay now what we will do let's create one more conduit from here let's connect it to this conduit okay now we need to connect this conduit this fixture let's make conduit again now let's select the equipment we can see here we have this electrical connection so we need to rotate this equipment by 90 degrees enter now we can see we have this electrical connection over here so now we need to create the junction box to provide electricity to this equipment so again we'll use electrical conduit and let's tap it over here and here we get a conduit which will provide the wiring to the mechanical equipment okay to connect this electrical fixture or lighting fixture again we need a conduit so you can see in this way we can provide wiring to all these fixtures or the mechanical equipment so rest of the wiring i will do faster with the help of junction box so right now we have created all the conduits and we have connected all the conduits with electrical fixtures and mechanical equipment okay so let's see this view in 3d we'll go to 3d view so here you can see all the fixtures connected to each other with the help of cable trays and conduits Here you can see we need to continue this conduits to the electrical panel. So let's do it. For that, I'll go to power view. Shade it. Draw conduit and then we'll change the elevation. Two, one two zero zero and then apply so let's go to section view go to view so we have this all these conduits now I will create a section section and now we'll create a section here is the section small section and we'll reverse this direction here we'll go to view so you can see here all these conduits coming down and i need to slice them over here so i will use this command in modify split elements will slice the conduits and will delete the rest of the part which I not need and this joint also I not need again I will go to the power view so 
in this section I will go now go to view to align all this convert to this particular panel I will choose the align command and will choose the center line to select all the converts one by one okay so now I have aligned all these converts let's again go to 3d view you see here all these converts are running well on the electrical panel okay 